Hey, church family, Pastor Tim, on Wednesday, April the 29th. Our newsletter just came out. I would encourage you to read it. It's on our Facebook page, our web page, and probably in your email. Uh, there is a men's online event tonight. There's a women's online event coming up soon. There is a prayer meeting tomorrow night, and there's an announcement about membership class. If you're new to ECPC and would be interested in learning what it means to be a member, we would love for you to sign up. There's some videos to watch in advance, and then we will gather next week for a time of interaction to get to know each other and to answer whatever questions you have. So sign up for that. As well, I want to thank Carl Dorsch and Gustavo Carvajal. They uh, came in and put trim in our youth room and in our nursery. We're kind of using this time to get some work done. I think our narthex is getting painted. The youth room has been painted. The nursery has new carpet. The youth room has new hard floors. And these guys came and donated some time and put trim in the room. So thank you, men, for that work. Uh, we've also had the field renovated, and so we would ask everyone to stay off the field and pray for rain, because this rain is really helping us grow some grass and get our field in a little bit better condition. So thank you to the deacons and to our members for all their work. Thanks for your giving that helps us keep our church financially strong so that we can do these things, and we would ask you to continue to do that. Congratulations to the Gherkin family who won the Catechism Challenge this week. It's a joy to see our children uh, participating and families who are teaching their children the catechism and then to see every week who wins the, the ice cream or the sweet treat, whatever they want, I guess Christina is delivering. So thank you for all that you are doing and training your children and uh, probably just trying not to go stir crazy during the quarantine. Uh, we will have more updates about our worship in the future, but for this week, again, it's all virtual worship. Our building is still closed to use, and we'll give you more updates as we see how things progress in the future. Know that we're praying for you. Know that we are trying to figure out how to wisely move forward and that we are here to help you. I have some packages of toilet paper still available if you'd like a special delivery. So know that we're praying for you. God bless you. Have a great day.